is it going? It's beer. Hope you're all well. I am in Germany, as some of you already know, and we're at Hughes and Kettner HQ. Basically, today has been a wicked day. We've been filming, uh, unveiling a brand new amp that Hughes and Kettner have brought out, and it is absolutely ridiculous. This is the Grandmeister 40, and it's just, well, it's Grandmeister Deluxe 40, and I mean, in a nutshell, straight up and honest, it's all tube, all tube uh, gain stack, so it's all preamp tube for your gain, um, tube power section, it's completely analog amplifier in, in that regard. So this, that you're hearing, which is amazing, is just tube. But the best bit is it's completely programmable with this MIDI foot switch that you can see here. And basically I've just shot a video for the last couple of hours uh, with Rich from uh, Hughes and Kettner and we've just been sh like going over how you use the amp and how simple it is because it's literally like free band EQ, volume gain, reverb, presence resonance and every single feature including the channel that you want is programmable the only thing that isn't programmable is the master volume because you wouldn't want to program that, that's just where you want to set it basically these have secondary functions so when you, when you press the old effects button like that instead of it being treble it's actually a delay level, instead of it being mid it's feedback, instead of it being bass it's delay time and that, so it's just a flick of a switch and then to store it you whack the button there and then you press it on the foot switch and then it will save it and that's simply how you store it and it's got two different modes obviously stomp box mode and then it's got uh, banks so you can go and have 128 different patches essentially I can design a, up to 128 different sounds using this and as far as I'm aware, and I've been told it's the first, it's the world's first all tube analog amp that's programmable. Smart rotary controls, that's how, that's how these are programmed. So for instance, being able to program the gain level or the amount of mids on an analog amp, you're using that, that basic function. But it has the digital effects, built in noise gate, all the rest of it's got the red box cab sim, variable gate, it's got variable homage on the back. Um, it's got the, the tube uh, security control as well, so you can you know check the health of your valves and all that kind of stuff. So it's everything that was sick about the TubeMeister series and obviously the Grand Meister stuff, but then on top of that it's completely analog and programmable. So I'm, I'm personally blown away. So. <laughs> Obviously, you know, the fact that I've pre-programmed these patches, so I've got a bit more of a crunch for the strap. And then my high gain strap tone. So because you can throw the old noise gate on there, you can make it even more of a gent tone. I mean, I've kind of got more of my th thick riffing sound right now, but you know, I can I'll go ahead and adjust this and then restore it. So if I want to recall it, I can, but you know, so let's have a look. The cool thing as well is that when you're trying to, this little store button is how you go and save the controls, but as I'm moving my treble, it lights up to say, oh, that's where you were, that's where it was before. So that's really sick. Um, so that's where we were, put a bit more mid in there. Whack the noise gate in. 
and you can adjust the sensitivity if you've got loads of gain and you want it to be really tight you can slam it all the way up By the end of September you'll be able to get one of these bad boys, uh, but anyway, I'm going to be doing a full, full review. Obviously we've just ran over it really quick and informally, but as I do normally I'll be doing a review at home through the standard setup with the Torpedo Studio and all the rest of it, so that you guys actually get a proper in-depth look at the amp and what it can do. But until then, hope you have a good one guys, we'll see you soon.